This is a short video about a beam engine. To be exact, it's a Stuart Models major beam engine, and it was built by Mr. Derek Fitzgibbon of Runcorn in Cheshire, England. This engine is absolutely beautiful in every way I can think of. The engine is not even run in, but still runs quite slowly. As you can see by the black oil residue, the bearings are wearing in quite well. The flywheel was machined by someone else with a larger lathe, but everything else was done by Derek. Just look at the quality of this Watts parallel motion. Making Watts parallel motion to this quality really takes some doing. There are lots of parts to make. Time to speed up the engine now. The idea of speeding up and slowing the engine down gives a nice even running in period. It will take quite a while. Although the engine is not particularly stiff, everything's quite free and the sound is wonderful. This engine is so well made, it does not emit knocking or banging noises at all. Just the hiss of the compressed air escaping and the whirring of the gears driving the governor. The water pump is fully functional also, and these two fittings on the base allow connection of some silicone rubber pipes to circulate some water. Whichever angle this engine is viewed at, the view is good. Here is the crankshaft with the connecting rod and here's a close-up of the crankshaft with the connecting rod. Note the oil cup with the removable cap, threaded and knurled. And here in slow motion is the water pump. There is more to engineering than just machining parts of course and the fitting of this engine is also exemplary. If you have a look closely at the parts, play the video a few times, you'll see the lock nuts all over the place to stop the fixings working loose. Once this engine is fully running, I would expect it to run down to about 10 revs per minute. At the moment it's still going quite fast, but each time we run it, it seems to get better. And once the oil runs clear from the bearings, we'll be getting somewhere. There really is not much more I can say about this engine that is not obvious. Engines like this do not come along very often. It is exceptional. I congratulate you Mr. Derek Fitzgibbon. You're quite an engineer and I love the engine. Very well done. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.